on it, I'm, I'm on it, on yeah. it, I'm, I'm on, on the street boy beats. Man, I told y'all niggas y'all ain't ready, man. We can't be stopped. On the strip. We back popping at the Raw Show podcast with Raw Clark. We just got an air delivery. Doing them goddamn drones and shit. And they got the little Kroger bag and shit that they, they tie this to it. It just floats down like this. You gotta have somebody out there to catch it and shit right there. Famous Pitch and drop off some goodies. We got the. So does the cover bag act like the uh, parachute? I uh, can't believe I had to okay. explain it to you. Okay. I, I just want you to explain it to the people. <laughs> to the people. Well, he saw it when it dropped down, so. They make him itch. He don't like the itch. We back? Yeah, we back. So, uh, we back, Point? Yep. So, a lot of shit been happening this week, and when I think of calling y'all motherfuckers, it be during it, and then I know y'all probably doing something. And I was watching the Democratic convention all week. Did it look like Fifty Cent's humor? Uh, <laughs> uh, what was the shit called? Fucking humor and harmony to y'all. Like it was like a festival. I didn't watch it. Megan the Stallion and shit went. Oh, you talking about back then? I'm saying then to now, like this week was like a week worth of festivity, a week worth of festivity. I ain't seen her around so many niggas in, 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 and I don't know how long. Nigga. Watch when this election over. You're not going to see y'all niggas around her no more. When I, from all, from when they did the shit with Megan Thee Stop. I ain't got nothing against her. I love her too. I'm in love with her too. She's tall, thick, beautiful, pretty. 50 was at the Democratic No, I'm saying did it look like the Democratic, like 50 shit was huge. What they was doing down there in Shreveport. Okay. And I'm saying like on, you comparing the numbers. I'm just comparing what it was. He put on a festival, and that's what the Democratic Convention shit looked like, like a fucking hip hop festival or whatever. You know, different um, uh, artists coming out and singing and shit. Fucking. Uh, and I was only speaking about Megan Thee Stallion because she was like the Shannon the lead up to it from a week or two ago. You know what I mean? Like the two weeks ago. The lead up to the shit. You she know what I'm White singers? Nah, she did. She had pink on there. Okay. So uh, some Indian singers? From nah, I don't Indy. think so. I didn't see any. Not none of her cousins and shit. Don't Try watch out. that black boat. Yeah, yeah. when that shit, that's brainwash. That's evil. It Y'all is. They been doing it. Trump doing it. Everybody do it. But I'm like, you know what's really. That black boat. What took me back to Megan Thee Stallion now. To the shit is like I said, I love her and all. At least Trump did shit for you after he won. But I also look at that as the narrative they're trying to push, like the people that they're trying to attract. Yes, the black vote, the young black vote, the young black female vote. That's but then it's thing. also when we were speaking about how they using things to make make shit normal, normalizing. Shit, they know our uh, young women and, and young girls are going to be watching her at. On some shit like that, yeah, and then shaking her ass, yeah, y'all got a suit on with your belly out and shit like that. I'm saying like some little shit show you how much more bigger the shit is. Like they setting up for the future voters too, so we can get you into the Democratic Party as you grow up. We just get it in your fucking mind that the Democrats are live, the the Democrats are lit. You know what I'm saying? It's it's or a Democrat or Republican to get all we lit and they get it in your mind the, early. It's the, it's the grab that, you know what I'm saying, like that demographic of what they trying to look for. If y'all send up if it's starting to notice that older people, you know, in their in their seventies don't vote, they're gonna do some shit and bring Willie Nelson on stage. Everybody gonna be old right. trying to get that old vote. If you're trying to get the young vote, you gotta catch that been I, that been a strategy right here. You know, they, they try to get the black vote and they said that I this is so respectful. You know what I'm saying? When Jay Z and all that right there, black people vote. Black people vote, you know what I'm saying? That's that's basically what I'm saying. But like, when you do what she's doing, that's racist. That's racist. Especially yeah. when the campaign is over, you're not gonna see her around no more black people. None. None. Her cause her husband white too, right? I don't even think that's why. You no, know, I'm just saying in general though. When they she, won't be so thick. When the, if she win the campaign, she'll leave and not be around no more black people. She, she wasn't around no around black people in before. the last four years. That that's what I'm saying. But now she need us. Yeah. So four and a half this years ago. This is the same play that Every time. Clinton 
that Clinton, all of them. With that Clinton. saxophone and shit right there. Yeah, it's but the, the same here's thing. the stab in the face when you just sit up there and you stop claiming your race for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, you stop advertising your race for a while and you strongly advertise another one like this is who I am. Mm -hmm. I seen Tommy Morris and the boxer do it. I'm not white. I'm black and one fourth Cherokee. You know, he kept doing that because he didn't want nobody to know he was white. What's wrong? Ain't no wrong with being white. Especially you born that way. What the fuck can you do? But yeah, I just, I, it was just crazy. Like they was, every time somebody came out, you see Oprah get up there. And like, you got, you want a car, you want a car. <laughs> oh. Oprah a trip, bro. She been high. Well, she probably ain't been high now. But, yeah, right, but as far as all the, the twerking and all that, making the stuff, the motherfuckers was watching that anyway, whether it's on here or not. That was just that trick, that campaign strategy to get you young motherfuckers to even watch this motherfucking debate. But that's what I'm saying, that they'll take that and using that, and even if, like you said, it was Jay-Z or whatever, to get the votes that they want, that also stimulates future votes also. You know what I'm saying? To get to get somebody as young as possible and get them in the mind state, the same mind state black people been in for mad years about the Democrat and Republican or, you know. There's a congressman in Ohio, in Columbus, Ohio, and he was like maybe 23 or so, 24. You know what I'm saying? Cleveland? No, in Columbus, Ohio, and that's what he did. He's older now. He's still in he's still in politics. Mm. But when you started off, he was like 23, 24 years old, and you got all the college folks, you know what I'm saying? People just all over like we vote for him, and so it's it's, it's, it's it's more young the way people fucking it's more kids than it is grown motherfuckers walking around here. So he got um, young motherfucking votes. Obama's ran the same play, but I think they chose wisely. They yeah. didn't choose uh, not nah, bunch of and it's also like he had a lot of men against women. He had a lot of supporters anyway. You had more supporters than you had. Than but I'm other. saying when they had the black music. But he chose wisely. He but chose. bitches wanted to fuck him too, so he got their vote. Right? Black, I don't care what he did, they thought he was sexy as fuck. But they still ran that same play. Like Kennedy. Same play, play, with play, the, with did. Black music. You like whatever what with the time. They went on tour with the motherfuckers. But I didn't see uh, Barack Obama like behind the scenes. Like I remember Michelle was saying some shit like, you know, what she don't like about him is that when he comes in the house, you know, said this is how he gets a tie, hey, and she got to pick up after this motherfucker, even in the White House. Like you just throw everything on the fucking ground. But you've been uh, seeing, you've been him seeing eating all of a sudden. Jay Z, bitch. Jay Z <laughs> is playing. Uh, uh, he playing Jay Z in the background. You know what I'm saying? You've been seeing like behind the scenes of him. And I remember when he got on Twitter the first time ever. You know, I don't have a Twitter account, but you know everybody else was on Twitter. Twitter. And it was five, uh, four, three, two, yeah. one, black. And he was on Do Twitter. We still got some backwood. <laughs> Yeah. She's done out of road. I bet she done out of road good too. I don't think she smoked. I bet she smoked. Every now and then. Every now and then. Especially after one of those she after that night when she had to speak in front of the motherfucker. She said some little shit too at the end. I know her that? kids, her daughters do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they kick it. Yeah, they kick it, kick it. The one though. The was, son tried to do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga quit that I shit. Kid. Brian. It's crazy, but you know it's all a facade. It's all a facade. They push him back and forth. It's crazy, and it works the other way. It works, who the, you for? it works the other way around too. Who you vote? Because I want to tell you this right here, like that's against the law, isn't it? The what? same who you voting for? No, it's not. It's well, what, what are you, you a Democrat or Republican? Religion, you don't talk about religion in politics. in politics. Don't do that because that starts arguments. And, oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. why you got. That's one of the things why <laughs> communist countries do. You know, ain't no religion. You know what I'm saying? We right. got one leader. Ain't no political party that would do it. That's how dude trying to do it. That's how he trying to do it. Right. Yeah. Cut all that shit out. <laughs> he trying to cut all that shit out. He ain't got enough time in there king, to do that. Nigga, I'm the but king of this bitch. Of of it, it goes the other way if you're running for something. There's some people that you love that we got to hide. We can never have, you know what I'm saying, Nancy and Robin, Ronald Reagan's daughter anywhere in the picture. How the fuck can you run the country and you can't run your own household? Because that right. bitch is on every fucking drug on the planet, so they swept her under the rug. But, and, and like Biden's son and shit, and, they cannot shut that and shit And like uh, 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 Malibu's most wanted. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, hey, we got to get that little nigga. Yeah. Yeah. He's embarrassing. That's Biden's son. He Malibu most wanted. No, then. but he was like that. Like at like he was already president when and running for president when you start getting caught doing that shit. But he been in Congress. He been 
because no been in Congress for a long but time. But nobody cared about Biden's son at all until Biden started to run and run for president. And then, and then we got to do some looking to his son so we could do this right. Like, why y'all in people's business? Like, they don't code. Yeah, and they find all this evidence and talking to his wives and ex-wives and shit and ex-girlfriends. That's the first thing he do when he wake up in the morning is do crack. I thought she was going to do say, say cocaine or something. <laughs> Yeah, or pop some pills. She said crack. <laughs> that's crazy. We wake up. <laughs> yeah. Crack. That's you know, that's that's crack smoking like Richard Pryor was doing when you got money crack smoking. That ain't yeah. a motherfucker that just got get up and figure out how to get some yeah, money yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. He oh, got an ounce sitting there. Around. Yeah, he got an ounce sitting it's there. The he didn't break him a piece up. It's the complete opposite of what y'all said because that man did that in the privacy of his own bitch and shit like bitch you snitch. Richard Pryor had crack and cocaine parties. Rick James right, had but I'm saying, but I'm saying, by his son that he grew up, they family had money his whole fucking but life. But he ain't throw no blow parties or nothing. No, like I'm that. just saying that we say if he <laughs> woke, <laughs> if he woke, <laughs> if he, woke, <laughs> if he, woke if he up, did, he would have been on trial for nothing and shit. You know, judge, he was there at my motherfucking blow party. <laughs> right, I'm telling you, he was kicking with the judge. He was with Rick James kids. can't tell on James Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Like who's gonna care? You know what you did, bitch. You know we did. He was kicking with the kids, man. He wasn't <laughs> with, the, with the OGs. That, that was his Listen, but I'm saying if you used to, if you had enough dope where you can wake up and take a hit, and you're not waking up trying to find out where that hit coming from, I bet that you got money. This I know here was his secret because I could see somebody buying this. Uh, 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 well, you already slapped him in the back of the head. Like, how did you tell me? Now, he just found Kid out Joe. when they put that shit on CNN. That's when Joe. This motherfucker could call him on the phone uh, uh, right now. I can see him doing that. I don't think he knew. Your son on the news. That's yeah. his wife. <laughs> your son. Yeah. Your son had it. Your son on the news. Your son is going to fuck this shit But he was probably out. a dickhead in college. Who told him that the, uh, the, the, the manager, the, the, the yeah. campaign manager? The campaign manager, like, bro, he's going to fuck all this yeah. up. Matter of yeah. fact, we're about to that. trade this shit out. <laughs> Joe. You know what make, what would make me laugh about that is my one of my favorite movies is uh, Wedding Crashers, right? You ever pay, watch Wedding Crashers and the, uh, my guy is um, what's his name? I hate when you I was do just that. doing this. Hey, hey, dude from King of New York. He's one of my favorite actors too. I didn't come out. He's a serious motherfucker, but when he plays that goofy yeah, ass motherfucker, it'd be funny. It'd be hilarious, and he. Uh, he the dad in the movie and shit, and he a senator or some shit like that. It's like, but the son is all fucked up, and he like, he be painting and shit, and the nigga was doing some gay shit like that. Well, excuse me. Who says, bada bing, bada bang? <laughs> Who says that? Pause. Some homosexual Who shit. says, bada bing, bada bang? Bada boom, bada bing. I was walking to a bar one day, and two bitches, he was a nasty motherfucker and shit. He looked like a 50s motherfucker and uh, shit. Andrew Dice Clay. Andrew Dice Clay. The dude that you're talking about, the older dude, he sounds like a cool ass. I'm Andrew trying to, Dice the Clay. name is, because I'm doing more the time. The name Remember, he, got, he, he would do this when he talked, like, but it threw me off. You guys. You a, yeah, you guys. Uh, you guys. Let me tell you something. Because he, he, I seen it on SNL, and he was playing um, a music producer. And he's like, you need more cowbell. The be heavy on Trump. Who's the, <laughs> who's the motherfucker? Who's the motherfucker with the mullet? You know, saying uh, uh, Joe. Uh, you know, Joe. He had to find his parents and shit, and he had a mullet and shit. Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt. He was on Joe Dirt, and Joe Dirt. You know, some kind of snitched him out. He was on the <laughs> run for the. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> when he had the heart on you, they was re re yeah. it. So that's the guy that we talking about right yeah. there. I just still on the tip of my tongue, but I mean, you guys. I never knew. I the saw. Same. I saw. Um, what well, at the Funny Bone? I seen Mark Curry at the Funny Bone one time, and the dude that was his opening act did it. And that's what like I I don't know if I'm good at it. I ain't that good at it. But when I would be trying to do it, he had like a. Uh, a word or like a phrase that would like put him into it. And I was like, damn, that motherfucker say, you close your eyes, you think that motherfucker right there. I like dude right there. I don't know what that is. That's the switch to all state guy kind of person. We don't know your name. Uh, uh, <laughs> that motherfucker, he's playing. But yeah, that, but that, in that movie, The uh, Wedding Crashers, that just made me think like the son, the daughters were trying to be like goody two shoes and they had them in the thing, but the son, he like put, put this on and he painting pictures. He like he he's supposed to be a lawyer or something. He want to paint pictures like they 
disregard the son and shit. Like, get his ass out of here. What's the guy's name that's always real feral, always opposite him in a lot of movies? I never know his name. I never He's one of those guys right but there. But he's one of my favorite comedic yeah, actors. Yeah, he is well. right there. Married your wife and shit. Like, yeah, he's <laughs> yeah like man. That. What am I supposed to do, man? <laughs> what do you mean? What, what you want me to tell you? You in my house, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, but hey, man, what's that noise I hear? Right? Sometimes I hear the noise in the back. Yeah. Hey, man, that's. that's but you know what? Well, we get so offended when white people don't know. Like Kevin Hart went through that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kevin Hart was the black guy that played in something else to them. Right. Yeah, it took a while for them to find out who the fuck he is and shit. So now it's like, but you know, like with a lot of uh, because I see now like so many when you what you bring up Kevin Hart, I see a lot of like shits he was doing just to get paid. Now, like a couple movies that's like, damn, I've never even seen this because my favorite movie at one time was um, when it was breaking in the house. Oh, I know you're talking about with Beanie Siegel? Yeah, that yeah. was my favorite Bitch, shit. Go get it. Go on, Paper Soldiers, Soldiers. that's yeah. the name of it. Paper Soldiers, that was my shit. Do that. I used to take girls and I, I, that shit stayed in the DVD player. Like, we gonna have a couple drinks. We might smoke. When we don't like paper soldiers. When we don't know what the fuck we talking about, we know what we talking about. We wish that one motherfucker movie with the one dude that do this. I hate when we do that. That's why you there. You like I did that shit coming. See the movie. <laughs> like yeah, you know. This <clears throat> motherfucking uh, clue, nigga. But yeah, I I think I don't know, man. I but you never you never answer it. Which 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 are you a Democrat or a Republican or a, I'm an other a other. I see when the others come out, I listen to them and shit, because uh, uh, you got to be a dumbass to just, you know, so you got to be a fucking follower to just already know who the fuck you voting for because they're a Democratic Party, you know what I'm saying, without even listening to them talk. Right. You ain't heard shit that they were saying, you That's know, true. and I didn't start thinking about that until I figured out Clinton. You signed off on that crime bill. Biden did too, you know what I'm saying, Nancy Reagan. I mean, not Nancy Reagan, but... Uh, Hillary Clinton, yeah. y'all signed off on that. That's the reason. How come they always get more, you know, saying penalty for crack than you got? You know what I'm saying? Like, like that was their crime bill, and we right. voted your ass in because you played the saxophone and your fat ass and bought us eating McDonald's and shit like that. You yeah. know, he's a cool. Brother. They normalized and they normalizing bullshit again. I'm in hell. I didn't, I didn't inhale. So, so with that being said, like even when and a lot of times they, I've seen some guys speaking about hip hop and. All that, how they say every five and ten years, it's like a shift in, uh, or a big change. And it like, is. So, you know, is it like, no, hold on, but what I'm saying about that, how Playboy was saying when Obama was in office, he picked the right motherfucker for his basically character to help endorse his shit as far as the music went. And how or for the times of what was going on during those times how saying jay-z and certain people were there to help endorse him so like now with kamala harris the people she using to help endorse her and the vote she's trying to reach it's not really is it the, like the times to not, try to help shift that like as a whole when things start changing like it's like a shift no, as a not, whole because it works you know what i'm saying i mean i remember they were doing rock the vote you know what right. You that's what I'm saying. So that's a that's a that's just a campaign strategy. If it worked for this motherfucker four years ago and it worked for this motherfucker sixteen years ago, why change it? Because you always gonna have kids. But but that's that's the point I'm making. I'm, what I'm saying is like, how things change. How it was rock the vote. We were more on a rock and roll and it worked, kind of culture. It worked for that right there. So now it's like so during you know what I'm saying that the events of time going. It's like if you look at the demographics. Um, Afri poor people don't vote, you know, especially right. African Americans. You yeah, know what I'm saying? They, they don't vote at all. Right. And that's because we're superstitious as fuck and shit. You know what I'm saying? The first thing, it, it ain't gonna matter to us, you know what I'm saying? But here's one like, you got people who don't even sign the census because they're just trying to find out who who is. No, they don't even. It says, how many people live with you? Right. You don't gotta say a name, you ain't gotta give a social security number or nothing. They just wanna know how many motherfuckers is in that house right. so we can add up how many motherfuckers that live in this, in, in this, area. In this area. So that we know how much money to send to the schools, the police departments, or whoever right. and shit. Right. But if they like talk, like you only got like seven hundred people that live on Livingston Avenue, how the fuck? Because they know why you do the census. That's how much money gonna go to them schools and shit. Exactly, that's true. And we don't never. Do and that. I, and I always ask you, when we get to speaking a little bit about politics or what's going on in politics, I always say, pay attention to your city and state legislation. 
the presidency is one thing, but everybody that I, what I hate is I hear so many people like, yeah, you can't get Trump in there. Hey, that bitch don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? All this back and forth when people are not one, did any insight or research about anything. But number two, their shit aren't the problems that you may be dealing with in your city and state. It's never going to be because exactly. their job is to worry about the country as a whole. Right. Columbus' job is to worry about Columbus. So that's who you, who, who the president from Columbus Public School. This is who you vote in. Yeah. You know, this is the mayor. You, the most mayors live right in Mexico. Yeah. Who the fuck? All the way down to the. Uh, so you seen it with your own. All the men. All the way down to the yeah. uh, the county clerks. Like these people. These are the people you got to pay attention. Like the president of the United States don't give a fuck about Lima, Ohio. He don't even know there is a Lima, Ohio. Exactly. Something got to happen for him to look into it first. The president don't be knowing everything about the only reason I fucking know it's a Columbus is because you had this. A, it's a capital of the one of the fifty states. The only reason he knows. Uh, you know any of those cities like that? You may know them number one shits, but like you said, yeah. Lima, fucking uh, Hillcrest, Newark, Hillcrest, Utah. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about Middletown, that. all that shit. Nah, that shit right there and that because you know how uh, some people. I was watching a chick on it may have been Instagram. She comes up because I went ahead and followed her just for the information. Um, she co- she comes on there and she was telling motherfuckers how to get their families that need low income housing and stuff, she was telling people how I can help get Section 8. And she was like, send somebody go. Like say it's, we in Columbus in our, and what's in the lines of Columbus. And then we got Reynoldsburg or you got Lancaster and they down there doing um, Section 8 certificates or something like that. You go there, you got you might have to live there for a minute to get it. But once you get it, you can transfer that bitch back to Columbus or wherever the fuck you want to go if they if they have those things. Section eight destroys communities. It does if you don't if it's not being used as the stepping stone that it's supposed to be. I mean, you talking about that? I'm talking about there's so many people that get section eight and be like I'm moving me and my kids. You know, we can now right here, right here. We live over here. You know what I'm saying? And you know wherever the fuck and shit. You just brought some badass kids to this motherfucking area and shit. And then everybody else keeps following and following and following. And now that motherfucker look like Whitehall. Now that motherfucker like, you, you fucking up shit. You just a, like a, a swarm. You know what I'm saying? One of my dudes, he has a, uh, he stopped doing Section 8s because he has homes that he ran out. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, um, they penalize you. You know, not the person that lives there that's on Section 8. If mm-hmm. I, they do their special twice a year. And then when they right. come in there, if there's not a smoking arm battery in that motherfucker, they come after you. And not the motherfucker that live there. Bitch, you hear the beep. I hate that noise. In people's houses, I be on the phone talking to people like, if you don't put a motherfucking 9-volt battery in that motherfucker, you don't hear it. And they so used to it, you don't hear the beep every 32 seconds. But the whole shit about it is... Um, it's individual legislation where things might be able to work over here and it'll help maybe help you progress over there. It ain't got the president don't give a fuck. It's the people that's in Congress and the Senate. And here's the thing. That make those things happen. All the way down to the mayor like and say, the city representatives and all those. Those are the people you gotta vote for. Like let's say you live in New Albany in Albany and you love the quietness. You love this and all of a sudden the section they start popping up here and here and here. Oh it is out there. You start seeing different uh shit and all sitting different noise and shit like these motherfuckers ain't sleep yet. We gotta go to work anymore. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to vote for that to be now you're being looked at if you being like if you going to people and saying like we, you gotta stop this section eight shit coming in this area and shit. Now you look at as um somebody who's depriving people of, you know what I'm saying, of a place to stay. True. You know what I'm saying? Like, now you the bad guy, so you gotta ignore the motherfucking cries to say, nah, I'm not right here. You can't live next door. But, to you know, creating, um, creating, um, and that's not a black thing, too, affordable when I say housing, though. Creating affordable housing, I mean, I, I can't speak and say for sure I know it by a fact, but what it looks like, a lot of places are building, you know, affordable housing for people out in those areas. Um, you'd be trying to revamp their oh, their different there. areas and stuff like and that. I would too. You know what I'm saying? If I lived right here and it's so peaceful right here now from Section 8 people, hey, can somebody build some shit way over there for them motherfuckers to live at? Affordable. It's over there. That weak ass drywall that they got and shit. You know, let them share garages and shit, right? Can you build some shit way over there to keep them the fuck from over here? I can see that. But they, but the, as it grows, that looks better than sounding like, don't put them over here. It <laughs> <laughs> looks better. Yeah. <clears throat> We're going to keep it on. We're going to keep on as we uh, 
through the rest of that. How many was it? 90 days, 68 days or something like that to the election? No, it's November 15th, I believe. So we're going to keep on talking shit this whole time about what's going on in this because I'm an other. Economy. I think I'm an other. I don't have, because I, I remember saying I was a Democrat, but I'm not a fucking Democrat. I just thought my last few times, I would say within this decade, my last few times um, voting, I paid more attention to the cause. When I was younger, I didn't pay attention to it, and I, it was really like a follow behind. And if all the niggas say yay, then we maybe we'll get something. But it ain't really even about that to that point. You know what I'm saying? It's like if it can work for you and what you're trying to get out of it and, and for the right shit, you know what I'm saying, for your, your liking and the way you're trying to live life, your lifestyle. What you talking about, bro? Yeah. For who you vote for, like, whether you're Democrat or Republican or other, or I like Trump. Conservatives. The economy was better, you know. what I'm saying when Trump was there, Biden actually told everybody he's gonna raise prices right here. But Trump is like a when he's the president, you're a Republican. But it's almost like you do things for Republicans and Democrats. You know, what I'm saying Democrats is gonna. <laughs> yeah, it, it's almost like that. It's like that's what I'm gonna do this right here. You know, what I'm saying because when he was talking about, you know, what I'm saying when when when, when that. Coronavirus hit, you know what I'm saying, and people, you fired all of these people, these, uh, you know what I'm saying, waiters and waitresses, you know what I'm saying, you can't work at a restaurant, no, you close down restaurants, so how they gonna eat? He was like a thousand dollars to everybody that lost their jobs and shit, you know what I'm saying, they was like, no, Republican, Democrat, he's like, like fucking leash on that fuck? shit. Listen, like, before the motherfucking uh, pandemic hit, he was making like a thousand dollars a week, you know what I'm saying, now all of a sudden, the pandemic hit, you gonna give me three? Right. Like what the fuck is that? You yeah, because that shit it started at a number and then it went down to six and it was like. Because most Republicans three. give a fuck about them and their kind, rich. Yeah. Most Democrats give a fuck about them and their kind. You know what I'm saying? The Democrats really don't give a fuck about what rich white people is going through. That's why they don't talk about it. Right. That's what you got Republicans. Because that's why a lot of the rappers is endorsing Trump too because they got money. They got money, so they don't see them problems down there no more. And you see this motherfucker say, I'm going to raise prices, and you endorse this shit. You backed him up. I'm the vice president. I'm, you know. Well, at that time, she was like black. You know what I'm saying? But after that, I'm India. You know, from India. You know, and she was, I mean, I, I'm sorry I love so many women. I wouldn't care. But Mindy, Mindy, she was on a video with Mindy, and Mindy was talking. And Mindy, and Mindy is um, Indian. You know, from Mindy show. I love her. She reminds me of Smitty, playboy. I thought it worked. Mm -hmm. go she got that Smitty vibe with the little voice. But Mindy is a. Uh, Did she bring it up? They talked about it. And she spoke about how um, she was both. You know, I mean, she's basically a. Would you call that biracial? Well, yeah, that's biracial, right? Yeah, well, you, you know, because I'm only telling they think biracial when you see a white black, black mom. Yeah. But she biracial Indian and she spoke about different things. Then she said, I can make I can make mean greens. I can make some greens. She started talking about the but greens. That's, when they, that's how they interjected her niggas. But, but then she asked her, like, why do you only, you know what I'm no, saying, show the black didn't. side when it's time for somebody to vote for you? She didn't. Because she, she wants a black vote. Man. How many Indian from India with a dot on your head? Hindu. Yeah. How many? How many votes you got? Come on, you can't live off of the Indian vote in America. No. So yeah. her mom is Indian and her dad is Jamaican. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Mm. She used to mess with Montel Williams. This. Yeah. Like the Indian population, over. they're the minority to us. Yeah. How many Indian votes you gonna get? That's true. So it's, the niggas, but you know, a lot of people of color. Band together in color, but I bet she busting her ass once she gets to vote and she get in whatever you bust your ass to make sure Indian people is okay. Listen, listen, police officers kill like a billion Indian people. You know, what I'm saying that you gonna be out there speaking and shit, but you, where you at for us though? Yeah, you you talk that talk, but when you get elected into whatever the fuck you into, I, we don't hear you talking. Yesterday I was at the gas station and I saw somebody that I have seen in a long time, and it was good to see him. Marvin. Remember, um, um. Wayne's homeboy Marvin, dark skin. He's a little bit taller, but um, he from um, no, no. He said he's still at Red Cross, and he was talking. He was like, "Man, I'm gonna come through. I want to come through and talk some shit with y'all about he and what's up, Marv." And I told him he could come through anytime. He was talking about and said, "Ask us to speak about something about um, how 
what you said about they're changing things and how they're doing things for everybody else and we can't get nothing. He was speaking about saying about them um, wanting to raise the retirement age and how they're trying to take a lot of things away. And But people are coming over here, they're getting jobs, they're getting benefits, they're getting everything that, that you, you, everybody, I know that if you ever had to deal with job and family services, you hate calling that motherfucker or having to drop a paper off or some shit like that because somebody ain't doing any motherfucking job. I wouldn't. Somebody, yeah. I'll be eating my donut and my coffee and all that right there. With that <laughs> then I'm like, I'm not picking up none of this <laughs> right here. Like, and, and then they, and, and when if you get in touch with somebody, they, oh no, we don't see that in the computer. I know right? somebody worked down there before. Uh, I know, I know who it is. You would uh, think they're professional, but when you're in real life, nah, nah, yeah, you. They gotta meet a quota. They gotta do shit the right way. Well, if I met my quota, you know what I'm saying they can't. They can't half-ass the shit and push a motherfucker through. Or well, no, I'm saying a lot of gotta, time people are not. It's hard to get the shit done. You trying to get done, and it's so like eight like, thousand people calling you. Yeah. So I'm saying. So I ain't saying push it through. Me Just either. when you be done drop shit off and they ain't got your shit in the computer and you gotta drop that shit off again and go through loops and. Fire rings, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to go through the phone and choke that bitch. bitch you got my fucking... <laughs> but when I got out the joint, though, I had a, 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 a caseworker. She was cool. I had her direct to her desk call for a while until she wasn't my caseworker no more at that time. You know what I'm saying? So... So you probably did something to get her fired. No, I she didn't. She just mysteriously disappeared. She she just did some, gave me benefits, you know what I'm saying, that I needed at that time. And she was cool, and I was able to get in touch with her when something needed to be done. And what, you know, she just was, I ain't gonna say not doing, she was doing her fucking job. Like, until I didn't need it no more. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know. Man, I just died in my motherfucking head. I'm, I'm on it, yeah. on it. I'm, I'm on the street boy beats. Yeah, I told y'all niggas, y'all ain't ready, man. We can't be stopped on the strip.